Good morning. We're going to do a mock up of setting up a MB24 clamshell on a 20 inch pipe. Do it as realistically. We're going to set it up for actually cutting pipe, which is probably going to take a little more time than what you would for your tensioning in that. We'll go through the same basic setup. So, timing is probably going to be shorter for what you're, I'm expecting that you need, but we'll go through the basic setup. We've got an MB24 clamshell set up on top of the box. Basically, it would be shipped in the box. We've got our extensions on it, which is normal. We're gonna set it on top of the pipe and we're gonna go. Got it? Yep. Is it locked in? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Swing bolts are both in, right? No, not this one. Yep. Okay, let's rotate it so those are down. Right now we're tightening our swing bolts on our housing. Tighten the gear clamps now. Okay, we're moving one of the locking pins. Okay, now our uh, motor, now we want to see where our motor is to make sure that we don't run into obstruction. Is it up there? Okay, what we want to do is put this one at 12 o'clock. There you go. Let's do the top first. Okay. I'll just do it. Half here. I'll tell you one minute. About half. How much? Uh, back it all the way out. I'm going to do one rotation, you do one rotation. Okay. One turn. Okay. Two turns. Okay. A half a turn. I did one. If you do a half, it'll be right on. Okay, about another quarter turn. Oh, I'm out of the pocket. Okay, back off. Tap. Okay. All right. Snug a little bit more. I'm out okay. of the pocket. All right, now we're going on to the sides. One turn. Okay. Two turns. Okay, Half a turn. Uh, I did. Okay, go. And another half a turn about. Okay. As we're tightening, I'm kind of shaking it. The locators will help self-align to some degree. Now we've got it secured around there. I can remove my secondary locking pin because the four pieces are two pieces now. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to check for square.
Coming down. It's like a it's pretty good, but the bottom could come to stick out a little bit. You got a little bit of gap there? Yeah, but it's about the same over here. Okay, let's that. check their bottom. Let's go down to the bottom of the machine. Okay, tap the, the top of the machine. Okay, hold it. Loosening the bottom just a little bit. Okay, try it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the top and check our square again. Okay, now let's do our sides. Okay, I've got a little bit of gap at the front of the machine. Okay, dead yeah. blow hammer. Any change? A little more. I think we're just moving the whole machine. We got these. What's? Like, it's staying the same. So. Okay. Loosen that up a little bit. It moved. Yeah, there we go. Let's look. Okay. We just passed our square through the pipe. We would be doing it underneath. Okay. I gotta go a little bit more. Take that Allen wrench. All right, just a little bit of gap at the back of the blade. Eighth inch? Mm, no more like sixteenth, I believe. Okay. Take this again, I'll tap it some more. No gap. Okay, I'm happy with that. Rotate so I'm not on that sticker. Okay, like that. Double check in our bottom. Okay, like that. All right, going to go to a smaller scale. Not quite two and th two and a quarter. What I'm doing is measuring over the center of my locator, and I'm about two and five sixteenths there. So we need to tighten the the top and loosen the bottom a little bit. What we're gonna want, some of your piping is can be egg shaped, so I want my top measurements to be the same, and then my side ones will be the same to each other. Not necessarily all four the same measurement because of all the wrong pipe. Okay, yeah, I'll take the Allen on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna do, I'll let you tighten the top first. Oh, 
go ahead. Okay. Tune just under five sixteenths. About that much again. Okay. Snug. Probably go a little more. Well, I guess that didn't feel as good. Snug. Okay, two and five sixteenths. Okay, now we're going to check our sides. I'm two and a quarter on the side. A little over two and a quarter. Okay, so I need to tighten. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Uh, not quite yet. Probably tighten mine up a little bit. All right, I'm two and a quarter right there. I'm gonna pull her a little more. Okay. I'm just over two and a quarter. Okay. Me too. All right. Pretty happy with that. Now what I'm gonna do is rotate the machine, make sure that we're not egg shaping it. If we egg shape it, we can hear some noise from the bearings. Okay. Pins are all out, rolls nice, we're not hearing any noise on our split line, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> now run our helper locators in, Dane. Okay. Run in so it just touches. Got them. Now I'll give you each one like a not quite an eighth of a turn snug. Yeah. Which one are you going to start with? Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. I want to be opposite of you when you do that. Okay. Ready? Okay. Then you go up. I'll go down. Ready? Yep. Okay. okay. Now you go down the bottom. You got one more on your side. Ready? All right. Good. Okay, now I'm going to go after some tool bits to slide in our tool holders. Okay. And the speed handle, you got that over there? Thank you. Snug that up. All right. About five sixteen is yeah, Alan. Yeah, 
Okay, uh, well I'm bringing, bring the tool bit in to touch the pipe. I touched my sever bit off first in this location. I'm going to set my bevel bit and I want to make sure that's further behind. Okay, I'm touching the pipe. One, two, three. I brought this off three rotations because I brought the other one off two just to make sure that I would not hit anything as I rotate the piece of the clamshell around the pipe. Okay. Um, now we're ready for the motor installation. All that is is four bolts. You want to find the 316, so I'll find a motor. Coming on to the rear side of the motor. Sometimes we have to loosen the, the mounts a little bit to get our teeth to engage. Snugging it up. Now what I'm doing is making sure that I've got my motor square to the back of the machine. So that I've got a proper gear mesh. And that's your basic clamshell setup. Now we'll be putting our dead men's whip on here and our air caddy and we'll be set to uh, cut pipe after we put some poly or something down to catch our chips. That should conclude our setup.